Welcome back to Pack Squads. And in today's episode, we have the return of the point counter, which means you're going to be able to see our points as we unlock them right on the screen. Should have had this for episode one. My apologies. Let's get into it. Also, keep in mind that supercharged cards are now a thing in MLB. The season has officially begun. We got to make sure we're keeping our eyes peeled in our inventory for supercharges like this Xander Bogarts gold that's up to a 91 overall or the O'Neill Cruz that's up to a 91 overall. And I think today we're going to throw a couple of these into our lineup. We can even get a higher tier upgrade boost on the Byron Buxton squad. Bobby Witt Jr. will be our shortstop, but today we're going to throw O'Neill Cruz in there. That unlocks the tier two boost on Byron Buxton. So now our whole squad that applies gets 10 power versus right and left five speed and five fielding but with the super change changes to our squad today we're gonna have tyler o'neill in right we're gonna bump spencer jones down on the first base that's unfortunately gonna put Vinny on our bench we're gonna take bobby witt jr and adrian beltre completely off the squad just for today we're gonna put o'neill cruz and xander bogarts as the left side of our infield i had to put nolan jones on the bench over adrian beltre so that we could keep that tier two boost for byron buxton and our lineup is gonna be o'neill cruz xander bogarts spencer jones tyler Tyler O'Neill, Corey Dickerson, Byron Buxton, Brian Reynolds, Colton Wong, and Gary Sanchez. In the last episode, we got Martin DeHigo. We're going to delay his debut by just one game. The rest of our staff does need energy. I'm going to go with the supercharged Tyrick Skubal with the five pitch mix. He has 88 hits per nine with the boost. We also have Jack Flaherty with full energy. And in the next episode or after this next game, Corbin Burns will also have full energy. He as well is supercharged. So obviously we're going to use him before his supercharge is up as well. This gives us options. I'm happy we added pitching over the last few games, and now we have options with supercharges. Let's go on a win streak. If you're new, the rules are in the description box down below, or if you're not new and you just want a brief breakdown, we're about to take our team into rank seasons. Everything we do in that game is going to tally points. Think of it like fantasy baseball. Every total base is a point. A strikeout with a pitcher is a point. Every run scored, a point. We get five point bonuses for various things, like hitting a homer of 450 plus feet, making a spectacular play in the field getting an outfield assist and then after the game we take our points into the marketplace and we add players and packs with our points 1,000 stubs is one point if we want a 40,000 stub soul series pack we got to trade in 40 points. I've also made the executive decision that whenever MLB The Show just gives us free cards like this, we're going to apply them to our inventory. We're very rarely and probably never going to use these cards so we're just going to open these up and throw them in the inventory. At least this way I can grind with them if I need to for anything specific. And if we want to add them to the team, we can just trade in 50 points. It doesn't have to be the pack. We can just take an offline player too. Probably not going to. Look who's here. <laughs> now just note there are new spring chicken packs in the marketplace right now Fair round on this pack has ryan sandberg jesus lazardo johnny bench it has a base round of adam Ottavino, luke voigt alec manoa aaron hicks there's also the fresh start pack in the game that has 92 juan soto 92 yamamoto 92 corbin burns in the rare round 89 base round of jorge polanco chris sale tyler o'neill michael king Reese Hoskins. You're going to see me open at least one of those packs because those are some really good pitch pitchers just out of the base round of that pack. Seven and two is the ranked season's record. We're in pennant race at the moment. Our first loss came in the very first game. We just lost game two a couple games back. Trying to make a good win streak here now that we're in pennant race. Trying to, I want to win all the way through division series and on to Hall of Fame difficulty here. Today's video is brought to you by Auction of Champions. They sent me this big old massive box back here. Look at it. If you've never heard of Auction of Champions, you can head on over to their website today. Get yourself signed up. When you do register for your account at the very end, make sure you let them know that Shelfie sent you. Auction of Champions is one of the leaders with one of the widest varieties in all of sports memorabilia. They have all kinds of auctions, including daily auctions for your favorite players in every sport you can imagine. They have these really nice high-def photos. You can get an up-close and personal look at not just the item that you're purchasing, but the autograph itself and that certificate of authenticity. By the way, every item comes with a certificate of authenticity, and you get all that information up front before you even start bidding. They got football, basketball, boxing. Not only can you get baseball cards, you can get baseball boxes and make sure to follow them on all social media platforms facebook twitter instagram tiktok youtube get yourself in the game at auctionchampions.com now let's get into this box let's see what they sent us shout out to our friends at auction of champions looks like we got some jerseys under here let me just start with what i can see oh baby looks like a philadelphia eagles 
Retro mini helmet, a Brandon Graham autographed Philadelphia Eagles mini helmet. Nice little t shirt there. We're going to go straight for the baseball bat. Oh, I know who that is. So there's your Beckett certificate of authenticity, but I know that autograph. That is Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed Rawlings baseball bat. Jalen Hurts. And it looks like this one is Hassan Reddick. Will he be an Eagle much longer? Autograph right there on the seven, Hassan Reddick. Dude, are you kidding me, right? Right now, we have two white boxes. We have a small white box and what looks like a baseball size box. And then, underneath of that, two of these bad boys as well. Let's see what we got going on with these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got cover athlete Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I'm sure they're going to love this around the John Boy office. Let's go. And number two. Boom. And the picture number two is, oh, ho, 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 ho. Braves fans are going to be upset at me for owning this. Yo, that is a quad auto of Gary Sheffield, Dale Murphy, Andrew Jones, and David Justice. Bro. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to jump into this baseball size box. Baseball, and that autograph is not popping off to me, but it is number 15. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> O'Neill Cruz autographed black baseball, gold ink. That is sick. Next up, we have two of these size boxes. We're going to pop this bad boy. Yeah. Open it. Oh, this is like a jackpot. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like eight slabs are in here. Dude, does that mean that this also has slabs? No, this has a... <laughs> Goodness, are you kidding right now? I thought this was about to be a double box of slabs. That's a Ronald Acuna Jr. jersey. <laughs> oh, not only is this an Acuna jersey, I mean, come on. All right, now, I still have a big box in here, but let's go through one slab at a time. That's a Bowman Chrome Grayson Rodriguez PSA 10 slab bag number three. We have us, oh, a Pete Alonzo. That is Topps Club Stadium X slab. They just keep on coming, man. They just keep on coming. We have a Shohei Otani rookie card. A PSA 10 Shohei Otani rookie. But next up, we have an Anthony Volpe Leaf numbered to 61 on the back there. Not sure if you can see that number. Numbering or not. Number to 61. Autographed. Anthony Volpe. Looks like we have three more of these bad boys and then that one extra box for us to open. And in here we have a Jeff Bagwell autograph. Another Diamond Dynasty guy. What do we got? We have a Craig Biggio National Treasures autograph. And then finally, last but not least on these bad boys, an autographed Roger Clemens Signature 6 Number to 35. And here we go. Last but not least, what is in this box? Oakland Athletics. What we have there is a Jose Canseco autograph. Oakland Athletics. Not only do we have the autograph, we have picture proof of him taking this pic, this or writing this autograph. Solid stuff right there from Auction of Champions. Thank you so much. So again, if you've never heard of Auction of Champions, go check them out. The link will be in the description box down below. Let them know I sent you when you make your account. Dabble into those auctions, and I appreciate the package as always. Home squad, we gotta hit the 86 overall. Sandy Alcantara. He's eight and two in ranked. We're seven and two in ranked. The Orange Crush. Let's see what our challenge is for today's video. If we complete this challenge in game, it's a 50 point bulk bonus we have to win by three or more all right all right all right all right all right something that can be obtained with a rage quit let's take it one at bat at a time first pitch fastball foul ball from dylan cruz 1-0 chain or 0-1 change up we get a swing over top of it go belt high slider in off the plate that got way too much plate 0-2 to dylan cruz Go to that change up again. Not my best spot, but there's our first point and hello point counter. Chad, one and two on Mickey Mantle. He was way behind that heater. Let's bounce a curveball. Showing him the curveball. Give him something different. 
Go fastball up out of the zone. Fouls it off. He did swing up there. The changeup again. Not my worst changeup. Scoobal can't make the play. Colton Wong can't make the play. It's a 2-2 single up the middle after four straight foul balls. Oof, man, the sinker and the circle change out of the stretch are so tough on pinpoint. Popped it up. Got a PCI drop on the 3-1 fastball, and that's two down. <laughs> perfect, perfect ground ball from Richie Sexton. O'Neill Cruz makes the play. Some loud contact there, a runner on, no damage. That's not going to have enough juice. One, two, curveball. Hittable. Didn't hit it bad. Here comes Xander Bogarts. Timing could have been better. Belt high sinker. Went slider. Oh, we rolled it over. I got to let that go. Spencer Jones, he got 99 exit velo. We're a little bit underneath of it. He hits it to the deepest part of the park, and it's going to go. He got it to go out. We didn't quite get all of it, but we got enough of it. Spencer Jones puts us on the board. Huge. I was not sure if that was going to go the whole way. Ground ball up the middle. He dove. I don't think he had to, and that's going to be an infield single. There's another point. Corey Dickerson in the five hole. He's been unreal. Change up down, misses three two. Runner on first will be off. And the runner on first did not take off for some reason, but it's ball four. Byron! Line drive, base hit. He took a bad route to that out and left. It's going to score two. It's a two run double for Byron Buxton. Give me four more points down the line. We're up three in the first inning. How do you do, Byron Buxton? Ooh, changeup got way too much plate. We pulled it foul. 23 pitches for Sandy. That ball's hit hard right to first base, though. Could have been hit harder. We get three in the first. We win the frame. That's huge. Out to a lead. We're out to the exact lead we need for our challenge bonus. Let's maintain this. Go change up off of that sink. Great pitch. He just got a piece. Slider down and away. Nice pitch again. He just got a piece. 0-2 again. Ken Griffey Jr. How about the curveball? Just got a piece. It's 0-2 still. Jam him with another sinker. Get this off the plate, please. Beautiful. No point, but a pop-up. Throw an actual back foot slider now. Better. There's a point. Brings up Colson Montgomery. Round ball to second. Three up, three down. We're cruising early. Sandy, first pitch sinker. There's a point on a single. We got lucky there. Out in front, but it snuck through. Ripped out the center. We went hit and run, and that ball is going to be... Oh, it's down! It's down! He couldn't make the play! And we're going to score from first, and Gary safe in second! We caught a break! Not only are we raking, we're getting lucky, too. How about that? O'Neal Cruz now. O'Neal Cruz! Oh! O'Neal Cruz! Get down! It's going to get down! Oh, he caught it! No way! He steals a knock from O'Neal Cruz. Ah, yay, 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 yay. Bad swing from Xander there. Good slider up and away, though. I like that pitch. Sinker misses in. It's 2-0 and on Spencer Jones. Spanked. Spencer Jones hits one 105 right at the first baseman. He's been the most unlucky player on our entire team. He's batting a solid 205. And his average exit velo has got to be over 90. It's insane. Shed. 0-2 to David Wright. Does that mean I could backwards K him on the corner here, Tyrant? Can we? Too much plate. Flies out the right. Fly ball to center. Yeah, we got to run the sinker in on those lefties. He almost got a good swing on that. Ground ball to shortstop. O'Neal Cruz will throw across, and that'll do it for the inning. Three up, three. Tyler O'Neal elevated. That's definitely going to be a bonus over the scoreboard. What should be a 10-point homer? 505 feet. Come on. 505, Tyler O'Neal. 10-point hack.
Oh, we almost went back to back. Corey Diggers and I just missed it. It's 5 nothing. bottom three. Ah, I rolled that over with Bucks, and he hooded it in a good spot, though. The 99 speed, can he get there? He will. That's a one-out infield single for Bucks. There's a luxury of having speed. Now, I'm going to try and take off for a second. I got a bad jump on that, so I went hit and run. We put a good swing on that ball, and it's going to get over his head. Buxton's definitely going to score. I'm going to stay at first. I'm actually going to stay first and third. We're going to stay first and third. There's only one out. I got a little nervous. I didn't want to get hosed at home. We hit the cutoff. I didn't want to get thrown at second. We're going to be – we're going to be – that should have been way better than it was. The hit and run messed me up. Here's Colton Wong. And Colton Wong rips. He the rippers. Colton Wong the rippers. Colton Wong spanked down the line. We will have first and third again. That's two more points on the RBI single. Here's Gary. Oh, I just missed it. It didn't sink. I dropped the PCI. Gary Sanchez, perfect, perfect. It's 9-0, and I think that's another distance bonus. 484, a 12-point swing for Gary Sanchez. Wow, 9-zip. One, hey, one more solo shot and three outs in the top half. Suddenly, this game is over. Oh! O'Neal Cruz, he missed right down the middle. We did not miss it. And that is going to be our third distance bonus homer of the inning. 464, another 10-point swing. And we are in mercy rule territory now with 50 points on the line. That ball's ripped now in the gap. That'll be two more points at least for Xander Bogarts. Looks like Dylan Cruz running out there. He's got a decent arm. Let's say two. Ejecto Cito, guys. I'm sitting here getting the score sheet ready for the points. And this man pulls the plug before we even get through the fourth inning. Jumped us up to a 549 rating now and ranked in an 8 and 2 record. Tiny Maverick moves to 8 and 3. Post game, we're unlocking affinity packs. We had two strikeouts with Scooble. 27 total bases on four homers, two doubles. Five singles. We scored 10 runs. We walked once. That's 40 points just on our in-game accomplishments. We also get 15 bonus points for three distance bonus home runs. We won the game and he rates quit. That's another 20. And we completed the challenge of winning by three or more, which adds 50. That gives us a grand total of 125 points. I think 125 points works out perfectly. We're going to trade in 75 points for a 50 bundle right out of the gate. So that's 50 packs plus a chase pack. Then we're going to use 40 of our points on this fresh start pack, the choice pack. With our final 10 points, we'll grab one headliner and two solo packs. That leaves us with 52 standard packs, one chase two pack for the 93 overall Wyatt Langford. And we have a fresh start choice pack as well. We'll save this for the end. Let's first burn through 52 standard packs. We're going to get a ton of the uh, jelly beans so that we can complete the Easter egg program right now as well. And we just pulled a diamond. Hold on. And we just pulled a diamond. It's a purple diamond, but who's it going to be? Zach Wheeler! That helps with the Phillies collection. And I like that because John Cruck is a solid card. Let's throw Zach Wheeler. 49 standard packs now. Keep things rolling. Let's just burn through it now. What a start. We're down to 10 packs now, just like that. Rapid fire. We definitely have the 15 jelly beans, and boom, as soon as I start talking again, we get our second diamond pull. It's another purple. This one is a hitter, though. It's Ozzy Albies. More NL East. More NL East. Beautiful. Seven more. It's working on collection. Six more. And we got our choice pack. We're going to get, I mean, even if it's the base round on that choice pack, we're going to get a great add to our rotation or our bullpen. But the rare round, man, Juan Soto would be a game changer. A game changer. That's it for the standards. Now we'll open up this one headliner pack. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? What is happening? Another purple. Adolis Garcia. Let's go. The 86 overall Texas Ranger. That's a World Series champ right there. Yes. Now the chase pack. Two packs are hot. Show me Wyatt Langford. Show me Langs. Show me Langs. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. That's still insane. We got a 91 overall pull. I totally thought it was Wyatt Langford though. Oh my goodness. Avi Baez, welcome to the squad. That's a 50,000 stump pull. This is outrageous. Man, and we have the fresh start pack. Tell me, show me a rare round. Just cap it all off. Oh, <laughs> the good news is this is a really good base round. I'm going to be taking the 89 overall Chris Sale. I just, another just gives us more starting pitching depth. Give me all of it. I'm not sure when I'm going to record the next episode. If I have a chance to get a debut in with Corbin Burns as a supercharge before Chris Sale, since he's going to be here, I'm going to do that. So if he's still supercharged when I sit back down for the next one, and that's most likely going to be the case. Expect to see Corbin Burns in the next episode and then Chris Sale after. We still have Martin DeHigo we haven't even used yet. Our pitching depth is crazy now. Now, you know me. I'm going to keep using different guys all the time. We're not just going to lock in a lineup and get boring. I'm going to try as many cards as possible. The early game right now is so much fun with this power creep. There's so many decent cards that are about the same in value and skill so that's gonna do it today 125 points can touch as a challenge complete mercy rule rage quit utter dominance if you guys enjoyed this video hammer that thumbs up down below It'd be greatly appreciated subscribe if you are new i will see you in the next one have a great day i'm out it's underdog fantasy go download the app code shelf helps me out a lot